The Field & Stream two-person recreational tent is a cheap way to get into camping, but is it worth the cost? Let's find out. So you can find this tent at your local sporting goods store or online. Fairly inexpensive, I only paid about 30 bucks for it, and you know, your prices may vary of course depending on sales. It is gonna be a two-person tent, so two people can sleep comfortably, but then you know, not much more beyond that, as well as gear may need to sit outside as a result of space. They list as a five by seven tent. However, at six feet tall myself, I was kind of end to end, so I'm not sure where they got that seven feet long bit, but five wide, more or less. As far as coverage goes, you know, it is gonna be a waterproof tent. You can go in a light rain. It's not really designed to hold up in like a windstorm of any kind, so you know, it's definitely an entry-level tent. Um, inside the bag, you've got uh, the tent itself. You've got two sets of poles to assemble the tent. You've got a third pole that helps hold the uh, top of the fly over the doorway. You've got a couple tent stakes to stake the tent to the ground. It's fairly lightweight. I wouldn't say it's a backpacking tent of any kind, but it's certainly not going to, you know, a small child could still carry it to the campsite if you had, you know, family camping going on. To set up the tent, you'll first want to find a clearing that you want to set the tent in. Keep in mind sun and shade, as you may or may not get hot or too chilly, depending on the weather. Next up, lay the tent out where you want it to be. Go ahead and assemble the two longer set of poles. These will be what support the tent itself. Starting at one corner, you'll want to slide the tent poles into the channels that are on the tent for the poles to go into. Once you get to the middle, there is a little bow that will be tied around both tent poles. You'll want to do this last, so don't tie it on the first pole or anything like that. Continue with this with the other pole. Once you have slid the poles into the appropriate guides, you'll want to start with one corner and slide the pole into the end retaining pin. Next, go to the opposite corner and do the same thing. This will be where your tent begins to take form. This may be a little difficult and it might be useful to have a second person to help even the tent out along the tent pole as you get it into the pin. From here, you can now do the opposite with the opposite pole. Slide one pole into the retaining pin and then do the opposite corner. Now that your tent is up, you'll want to stake it to the ground so a small gust does not blow it away. You've got four stakes included with the kit starting at one corner. If you have a soft enough ground, you can simply push the stake into the ground through the loop provided on the tent. However, if the ground is a little more hard, you may need a hammer to hammer the stake into the ground. Once you've got the first tent stake in, go to the opposite corner next. Pull the tent taut and then press that stake into the ground. This gives you the most surface area on the floor of the tent without causing any wrinkles. Now go to the third corner and the fourth and repeat the process making sure the tent is nice and taut before you push the stake into the ground. Last thing you'll need to do is put the fly onto the top of the tent. At this point, if you wish to leave the fly off, just be aware that you'll want to keep it on at nighttime while you sleep to prevent waking up with dew all over yourself and inside the tent. To put the fly on, first you'll want to locate the front of the fly. This is indicated by the bit of stitching on one edge of the fly itself underneath. Place the fly over the tent Again, marking where the front of the tent is relative to this edge with the stitching on it. And then go through each corner, hooking the plastic hooks attached to the bungee cords into the metal loops that the tent stakes were hooked into themselves. Do this for all four corners. And then lastly, take that third skinny pole and slide it through that stitching slot on the front of the fly. Underneath, you will see there are two metal grommets for the ends of this pole to slide into. This essentially creates a small canopy for the fly to hang over the door of the tent, leaving you a little awning type shape. And that concludes the assembly of this tent. So what are my thoughts on the tent? Well, for its price point, it's actually not that bad. I mean, there are a couple of things that I wish could be changed about it. The bottom material of the tent is particularly noisy. So you know, if it's late at night and you've got someone camping next to you in this tent and they're rather restless, it might keep you up for a little bit longer. Um, there is a pouch inside the tent that is used for storing like, you know, a phone or a flashlight or something that happens to hang right where your head would be if you were trying to sleep with your head on that end of the tent. Um, but aside from that, you know, given the price point of the tent, it's not too bad, especially for an entry level tent. 
Well, that's it for this video, everyone. If you liked it, hit that like button, get subscribed. If you disliked it, let us know why. Maybe leave a comment. If you're looking for anything else to watch, we've got a couple links in the video description to other videos that we're working on. Stay tuned as we got more content on the way.